the problem with the phrase big data is that it, it is almost meaningless. It's defined by everyone who uses it in a different way. Um, for me, data gets big at the moment when it would be very difficult for a human being to simply look at it, read it, and make sense of it. And, and that's different in different domains. But if you're talking about, say, census records, the census records for one family over time, uh, one person could sit down, look at those, and probably see the major changes that were happening in that family over time. But if you're talking about census data for a few thousand families, then it gets a lot harder for one researcher to sort of hold everything in their head and look at all those records and be able to notice anything, an interesting pattern. So for me, big data just means data that is a little bit too big for me to study without the aid of the computer. Yeah, I mean, one, one thing that they can do is simply allow you to work at a different scale than you might. And not necessarily a, a, a better or more uh, scientific scale, but simply for people who are interested in patterns across wide swaths of time or people who are interested in uh, patterns across uh, large geography or I, I work in literary history and there are people who want to study patterns in the evolution of not one or two or ten books but hundreds or thousands of books over time. Uh, and that's where these digital or computational approaches can allow you to ask questions at a scale that's really difficult for an individual researcher to ask them.